you are with Kim Byers at the Celebration Shop and today we are going to make a graduation t-shirt uh, with our Cricut and our Easy Press. And we're going to be using an exclusive design that I designed for my latest cartridge with Cricut. Um, and this one's all about graduates and um, it's really mostly appropriate for uh, college graduates and high school graduates. They're a little more mature designs, nothing bad, just to, you know, a little more, um, they're not very preschoolish, um, although those are awesome too. And actually, I think one of the other designers that is in this month's mystery box, which is where all of these designs is going to be, um, she did some really fun things for preschoolers and youngsters for uh, graduation. In addition to graduation, this box also has 11 designs of mine for Father's Day. And the other designer did Father's Day as well. And then Cricut loaded in 10 different fonts. So if you've ever bought a font on Cricut Design Space, you know they run about six to seven dollars a piece and this mystery box which is only 29 for the whole thing um is uh has 10 10 different fonts in it so but if you're not interested in the mystery box no biggie this tutorial is still amazing to teach you how to make t-shirts with your Cricut and your easy press so you are crafting with kim Byers at the celebration shop and i'll meet you in design space Okay, so here we are in Cricut Design Space. If you purchase um, this month's mystery box, you will have this um, in your purchased items. So this is my Senior Vibes collection or cartridge for Cricut. And I also have a Father's Day one that's in the same mystery box. And then there's other designers and there um, are 10 fonts that they've put in this. So for this collection, um, today we are going to um, make a t-shirt but let me just run you through really quickly what all's in the set so straight out of high school you could use the high or you could um, you know remove it or hide it and make this appropriate for preschool or um, kindergarten or even fifth grade graduation um, and it could even be fun for you know just summer vacation we have senior vibes with the, um, the grad cap and the tassel was worth the hassle senior um, and class of 2019. Turns out I'm smarter than I look. This was one of my favorites just because, well, it's funny, right? So, um, and I made these two different pieces in two different colors, so you could actually use school colors if you wanted to, or you could just turn it all black. Um, dangerously overeducated and ready to take on the world. Mm-hmm. That was... <laughs> That was me when I got my uh, degree. Let's see, straight out of college, hashtag done. So my kids, this was my oldest favorite, hashtag done. And then I think my youngest, he liked this one the best. Hello, my name is Graduate. Uh, finally, and then College Survivor. So I'm thinking all of these would be darling on t-shirts, which is what we kind of had in mind when we designed them all but they would also look really great on a mug um, or on even a, um, a backdrop or you know some signage or something for a graduation party. Like the tassel was worth the hassle, that, that would be a really cool backdrop. Okay, so let's pick one and we'll hop over and cut it out and get to crafting it on the craft table. Okay, so I chose to make the hashtag done t-shirt. Um, this one is super fun. And since I don't actually have anyone graduating um, this year myself, I thought it would be fun to put my oldest son's uh, graduation year on it, which is 2023. So let me show you how to do that. So um, since we don't need the nine, we're gonna hide that. Um, we don't need the one. And we're gonna duplicate the two. We'll hide the eight all the way down to the three. Okay, so now we have our three. Well, the other thing that we wanna do, if you um, click on it like we just did, and ungroup, okay? So now be careful touching all of this around here so you don't move things around, but for the ungrouping, now we can just move our numbers around any way we want to. We're going to take our two, get a hold of it, take our two, and we're gonna duplicate it. Okay, and then we'll take it and move it into place. And I think I'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger so we can see it easier. Make sure we have it right where it should be. And we'll grab that three. Where's our three? 
We'll grab the three. <laughs> Move that around. We didn't mean to do that. Grab the three. And sometimes it takes a little bit of time to figure out what you're doing. I'm actually using my arrow key just so I make sure I'm only grabbing what I want. Okay. There we go. Okay, so 20. 23. Now the next thing that I like to do, um, and I'm going to move, make it a little bit smaller again, I go up and hit select all. Okay, so now that we've selected everything, we want to reattach or group these items. So we're going to group them, and then we want, I want to do them all in black. Now you could have obviously changed these colors up and do them in anything you wanted to, but while we have everything selected, I'm going to attach because when they go over to the mat, I want them to all stay together and not to shift around um, on the mat. Okay, so um, the next thing that you need to do though is measure your t-shirt. What size is your t-shirt? How large do you want this design to be? My t-shirt is 18 inches across the chest area. Um, and since this is a man's shirt, um, I want it to be fairly large. So right now, let's hit select all and see how big it is. It is eight inches, basically eight inches across. So I think what I'm gonna do is move it up a little bit and then I'm going to enlarge it. So our t-shirt is 18 inches and I want to keep this on one mat. So our next step is to select make it. And this is going to take us to our mat view and give us some options about what materials we want to use. Um, there we go, sorting project to the mat. So because we kept it just under 11.5 uh, inches, then we were able to get it on one mat um, and actually saved a ton of space. So there's our material size. We're going to do one copy. Now remember this is iron-on. With all iron-on you want to mirror your project. Okay, here. Okay, so the next thing that we want to do is we'll select continue and we'll be able to, um, my machine is already attached. So if yours is, then you're fine. If yours is not, um, then this is where you would connect it. And because this is a guy's t-shirt, um, I'm not going to get fancy with glitter or anything like that or foil, um, although those are beautiful options if you're creating this t-shirt for a girl. Um, but we are just going to use our everyday iron-on in black. So I've loaded um, black iron-on onto the mat, um, roughly 12 inches by 6.5 inches. And now the machine is um, detecting the mat and starting the cut. So you can see here that we are 4% through the cut and it will go all the way around letting you know the entire time how soon your project will be done. And this is a pretty simple cut so it won't take very long at all. Okay, so our cut is done and I will grab the mat and meet you on the craft table. Okay, so we just have a couple of things on the craft table. So we have the cut and a weeding tool, and we have a white t-shirt. I have my Easy Press mat, uh, my Easy Press 2, and a clear ruler. This is my absolute favorite ruler. Um, this one's made by Cricut. It is 18 inches long and three inches wide, and it's perfect for all kinds of crafting because I love that I can see through it. Okay, so we're gonna weed, and then we will go ahead and measure and place it on the t-shirt, and I'll show you how to use the Easy Press. When weeding, I really like to start with the small things first. Um, so that's inside of the letters and things like that because once you start pulling off the big pieces you could miss these tiny little elements. So do these first and then go back and you can pull off the larger elements. Okay, so I have finished weeding out the design. Now what I want to do is just measure my shirt, make sure that I'm putting my design where I want it to be. So I'm going to use my ruler to make sure, and I have it backwards, to make sure that I am getting in the center of the shirt. So it's about 18 inches across, and this design, if we recall, is just over 11. Okay. So I think I want it to be about here. Yes, about here. So on this side we have three inches, and on this side we have three and a half. So that's not gonna work, right? So we're going to move this over just slightly to where we're about three and a quarter for each. 
I'm going to hold it down on top and take my ruler out. And we'll pop that over to the side. Just make sure that we have it straight. And then of course we can remeasure and just make sure that nothing's shifted on us. And of course it also depends on where um, you come down. So right here's two and three quarters. About two and three quarters. Okay, good. So I say we're in the center of our shirt and we have our easy press um, heated to 315 degrees. Um, which is what you would use for a poly cotton blend. And I'll put the link down below, but you can go to the Cricut site and it will ask you um, what kind of material you're using and what type of um, vinyl you're using. And then it will tell you what temperature to use. So we're going to use 315 at 30 seconds on the front, flip it over and do another 15 seconds on the back. And our shirt will be ready to test. Okay, so I moved my easy press just a little bit closer and this is the largest of the easy press family okay so we're going to hit the start button and gentle pressure and we'll wait till that counts down to 30 seconds and then we'll flip our shirt okay so I've done the front and the back now we're gonna test and one thing to note um, when you look at the the guide online certain types of iron-on you take off cold. This is every day and you peel this off at an angle, always at an angle, warm. Not hot, not piping hot, but warm. I love my easy press. It lets me make professional looking t-shirts as if we bought them at the store, but perfect because they are personalized. Okay, so I hope you liked uh, making that t-shirt with me. I hope it was it was kind of a fun design. We have some that are maybe a little bit more serious in the, in the cartridge, but this one I thought was really fun and make people laugh, right? Um, and so if you love doing that, please leave me a comment down below. If you have any questions, leave me a comment down below. I'll do my very best to answer you. Um, if you're interested in the mystery box, there's a link down below. If you're not, um, please, you know, just leave me a note and let me know like what other kind of tutorials you want to learn about. I can give you a little heads up that um, I'm going to be partnering with Martha Stewart. Martha. <laughs> my Southern coming out. Martha Stewart over the... Um, the next seven months um, to do several different crafts, wedding crafts, um, with her new machine that's available at Michael's. So I would love for you to stick around um, and join me each month as we go through different uh, tutorials for wedding. And if you haven't seen it already and you are planning a wedding, I have a craft book available at Michael's, um, at Joanne, and uh, on Amazon for wedding crafts. So you guys are with Kim Byers at the Celebration Shop and I hope that you will hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time.